Now on to the last one lads, it's the back mobility. Mick, you know it, because you looked like you had swallowed an iron rod there the other day. It's to try to get our lower backs moving better, okay? Because with a hockey player, you tend to be in this uh, locked out position quite a lot with the nature of the game. And unless you learn how to come out of that position and get that lower back much more mobile, then you can be prone to back pain, okay? So this one will help give you the normal movement. You can practice it for a couple of weeks and then it should become ingrained and you won't need to anymore. You just stand with your feet away from the wall, your upper back into the wall, and then you imagine your pelvis is a bucket of water. So you wanna spill the water out the back, watch. That's the flexion that we want. Spill it out the front. That's a normal hockey position. Spill it out the back and so on. Okay, I'm gonna just get grab a, a skeleton and show you exactly what's happening. But this here is a vital movement pattern for everybody. This is what's happening lads, this is what we want. The pelvis is like a bucket of water, so the pelvis spills back, okay? Not the upper back going forward. That's what you might try to tr do initially. Get your pelvis to roll back, which causes a, a flexion of the lower back, which is what we want. Then the pelvis rolls forward into this hockey position, back, forward, giving us good movement of the lumbar spine. And this is what it looks like with some skin and muscle attached. Line your back, knees up, tilt the pelvis back like you're rolling back, tilt it forward and back. Okay, same exercise, just done lying on your back. So that's, that's it for me. Uh, please uh, let me know if you have any injuries or issues. You can, my email is with Ashford from Sean, uh, the website, you can get me through that. I'll put it on the end of the video.